myself ready this morning because actually it's my dad's birthday weekend so we're going out this evening I actually did my hair and makeup which is very rare I've just sat down to write his card but we're gonna be doing that later on but I thought seeing as I've made an effort I would take you through some of my new and clothing because I know some of you really want to see a bit more of my clothing so I'm gonna go through that in a second and Ollie's home today he's loading things into the skip and um, we're kind of like tidying the dining room so I can start that Christmas video and I want to head to Ikea and also town so that should be fun and we're going to Christmas market tonight so it should be a little bit festive too I'm really looking forward to taking you through this video because hopefully it's like that perfect balance personally it's my perfect day because it's like split between fun nice and girly but also at the same time a little bit of practicalness and home stuff so hopefully you enjoy it too but I'm gonna take you over here. The lighting isn't great today. It's um, like that typical UK gray, gloomy day. So hopefully it's not too dark. I'm gonna turn this way because then I'll at least be facing the window. <laughs> so I conveniently got all my clothes onto this rail to show you today, but I wanted to start with what I have on, which is something that I've been wearing a lot recently. You may have seen it in my one of my previous videos, putting up the Christmas tree because I just don't wanna take it off. Partly, comfort it is so comfortable it is so soft it's from a company called lily silk who i've worked with a few times through the year and i'm really glad to be working with them again today to show you a few of their pieces because i love them and i really genuinely love them and i think that's partly because of the material and how soft they are and they just feel amazing next to the skin a lot of my jumpers i have to wear something under them so that i don't feel itchy or irritated but this i've got nothing underneath and it feels unbelievably soft. And I do actually slightly suffer from sensitive skin and the skin on my face, I suffer from acne. And silk is actually um, naturally hypoallergenetic and also like resistant to dust mites. So it's perfect if you suffer from any kind of allergies or just have like slight irritation with your skin. And a lot of their items are the, the real deal. <laughs> you know, the full, this one is 100% cashmere. And so is another jumper that I'm going to show you and this one here is 100% silk so you just know that the components of the whole piece is going to be good for your skin but also lovely quality and they're doing a Black Friday sale so right now most of their pieces are pretty much a bargain and you can use my code which is LMS15 to get you an extra 15% off so really really great and also a really nice place for holiday gifting because I think sometimes you think of those cashmere and silk items as a really like luxurious item so it's something really nice to give at Christmas time but anyway back to the jumper so this one actually comes in a few different colors I picked it out in the white but if you're not so keen on a white they also have it in a really nice more towards like the caramelly brown color too and I think it might come in the third color as well but I'll link them below and one of my favorite things about this jumper is that sometimes jumpers that are slightly oversized, this has a slightly oversized feeling, it can feel quite masculine, but this actually really suits my personality. It's got a real feminine touch. I think that's how the sleeve falls. So it's just got like a light um, kind of like puff at the end of the sleeve and then it comes in a little bit tighter. And I think it's just a really nice detail. And then it's also got this lovely it's almost like a, a diamond design going all over the front and the sleeves of it. I picked this one up in a size medium because I did want it to be that little bit oversized. But to be honest, I think I could have gone for a size small. It depends on how you want it. If you're gonna be wearing it with a lot of high-waisted stuff, then personally, I would um, go for your normal size. If you want it to be hanging over trousers, then I'd probably go up a size. Next. Um, quite possibly in my favorite color of the season you're gonna be seeing this everywhere with me and I'm really sorry but I just adore this color this one is actually like more on the the raspberry pinky tone of like the burgundy scale I'd say um, but I just love it I think that it's really really flattering on lovely with a little bit of a deeper lipstick quite nice on the days you know the days where you like feel a little bit gray in your face you feel like you need a little bit of perking up this jumper does that for me. I really love pairing this one with a skirt, but it's also a really nice layering piece if you have dresses that you want uh, like a warm layer underneath, but you still want to be able to see a little bit of the um, turtleneck top. This would equally go really nicely under jumpsuits where you can see the sleeve and it's gonna keep you extremely warm being 100% cashmere 
and as I said earlier, super, super soft for a lovely layering piece that's right next to your skin. Then I picked out this one mostly for all of like the evening, hopefully nights out and entertaining that we're gonna be able to do this year. But it also does look really nice just paired with jeans and a bit of a chunky cardigan. Perhaps if you're going for more of like a girl's night out that's a little bit more relaxed, but you also wanna wear something nice, and then this is a great piece for that. Again, it's really good for layering. But I have to say, color tones is something that Lily Silk does really, really well. It's something that I think is so important because you can be on a tone of a color, but just get it slightly wrong and it doesn't look good. But all of their colors just, they're definitely on that luxurious side where you can see that the colors have really been thought about. And this one is like that perfect goldy mustard color not too mustard, not too flashy gold, just like sits perfectly in the middle there. Really beautiful, soft lace detail on it here. And it's also got that lace detail following throughout the back. I can't remember what size I picked this one up in. Let me check. Size medium. But for reference, they call that the UK size 12. So I've gone up a size again there. And this one is 100% mulberry silk feels and drapes, it's just, with silk especially as well, the way that it drapes and it flows is just really beautiful as it hits the body. Definitely check out their Black Friday discounts though, and as I said earlier, use the LMS 15 for an extra 15% off, and that is on a number of things, so it's not just their cashmere and silks, you've also got their homeware bits, so their silk pillowcases, which we've mentioned before and just couldn't be without, we absolutely love them, and their bedding, they've also got lovely accessories, um, my hair at the moment absolutely needs like silk hair ties and stuff and they do silk hair ties and masks, lovely bits for travelling. So yeah, all of those lovely bits for gifts too. But moving on, my next piece is an evening dress. So this one I actually had my eye on a few months ago when I saw it on Millie Macintosh. And I think that's the funny thing, like I also get inspired by Instagram and people that I see online. And I just thought that it was so beautiful. Um, and that perfect piece i'm trying to buy less at the moment but better quality stuff that i can wear every year that the season comes around and also throughout the seasons so i think this one actually is quite versatile i'll be able to wear it this time of year but i also can hopefully wear it right into spring possibly even into the summer months it is quite covered but I, it's still quite a light fabric that i can see myself wearing here in the UK when it's not so warm in the summer. It's very on trend at the moment to have this little bit of a higher neck, a little puff sleeve and a, a bit more of a drapey sleeve as well. And I'm all here for it. I think it's really feminine. I think it suits my style. This one just has a really pretty, beautiful vibe to it. And kind of like when I put it on, my shoulders go back and I just feel good in it. I told you I liked this color. I really do. This is another kind of midi length dress, really beautiful on actually, and we have a few things this year. Finally, we're going to London, we're going to the theater, we're going out for a really nice meal, and I wanted just like a few nice pieces to be able to pop into my wardrobe. And this one I knew would be ideal for dressing up for an evening, so you can wear it with some really nice earrings, some heeled boots, but equally you can wear it with some flat leather boots and kind of wear it for just like a nice day out, going to the pub. You can also dress it down. It's not like that kind of like glitzy, glitzy, glamorous dress that is just for an evening. I think that this piece could be quite versatile. Like I was saying earlier, obviously you wouldn't put, match the two colors together, but you could wear something like a lovely cashmere turtleneck under this one to give it a little bit more warmth if you're wanting to wear it through the day. I know this one was selling out in a lot of sizes, so I'll try and link it where I can. I got this one in a size 10, I think. It's from Whistles, but they also sell it on John Lewis and probably other sites, so I'll try and link it where I can. Actually, as I was just saying about layering and tag neck pieces, these are real basics. They're just cotton layering, kind of like thermal under pieces. I quite like wearing these even under a normal tag neck top feel the cold. And sometimes it's quite nice to have pieces like this so that when you roll up your sleeves, I love seeing just like a little bit of the stripe underneath. And it's also, if you did get super hot, not something that you'd mind taking off. Like I've had see-through thermals before and been in that situation where I'm like so hot, uh, but I can't take my jumper off. So yeah, perfect layering pieces, one in navy, one in uh, just a navy stripe. And I know I wear those so much. 
Then I got this knitted dress, which you can't particularly see there, but I know that I love knitted dresses at this time of the year. I actually only started wearing them. I feel, I feel like they came in fashion a few years ago, and as soon as they did, I was like, I get it, this is perfect. Feels like you're wearing your pajamas, great for those days where you're with family, so you wanna wear something nice. So you're going to your grandparents and you're like, I wanna look nice, I wanna look like I've made an effort, but also wanna be comfy, because I'm gonna be sitting on the sofa, doing a puzzle, watching films, like that kind of environment where you don't wanna be stuck in a tight dress, but you still wanna look nice. Perfect, because you feel like you're wearing your pajamas. It's just like a lovely hug in a dress, you can wear a belt on your way there, take it off when you're watching the TV, and you're super, super comfortable, and also lovely and warm. Uh, this one is quite an oversized type dress, definitely something you're gonna want to wear a belt with, but I find those quite flattering, because then you're not worrying about it being tight fitted. And at this time of the year, eating a big lunch, and then suffering the consequences afterwards. <laughs> so these next three pieces I actually picked up way back in September, um, but I think they're still in stock because we were going to Lake Como and I wasn't quite sure that what the weather was going to be like. I didn't know whether it was going to be coming into autumn and it was getting a bit chillier. The three pieces that I've worn so, so much and kind of been like, why didn't I have them in the wardrobe before? So first up, a bit more of a mini dress. But the lovely thing with this one is that it's not too mini. It's my perfect length. It's quite nice to have something different in the wardrobe. I've got a lot of mini dresses at the moment. So it's nice to have something a bit different. And when I saw it on the website, I thought, mm, I don't know if that's gonna be very flattering because it's quite like, there's a lot of material um, in the skirt and I didn't know whether on the waist it would become just too poofy. But actually tied in with a lovely thick belt, it really pulls you in the waist and then just kind of like flows off at the hip, which I find really, really flattering. Has a puff sleeve again, love them, just love them. And then the next two are very similar. <laughs> very, very similar from the same company wear them all of the time though. Something that I didn't have in my wardrobe was a chunky jumper that was shorter. <laughs> and both of these are now. And because I wear a lot of dresses, I tend to find, and also I feel like we all pretty much wear now high-waisted trousers and high-waisted jeans. Unless you're wearing leggings or a tight jean, I find the long cardigans now just difficult to pair with clothes. So this I find like I'm gravitating to it, towards it all of the time. So they're both in like slightly different materials. This one, I mean, they're both really soft. This one I'd say is that little bit warmer. It's got lovely sweet buttons to it somewhere. I think they're so pretty. What was I saying? Yeah, basically, love both of these. This is the other one. This one's a little bit baggier in the arm, but I've been wearing these layering, obviously when I was in Lake Como, it was quite a nice look for the evening to fling it over a dress. Kind of like you can bring it down on your shoulder a bit if it's a little bit warmer and pair it up with a coat this time of the year. So that's clothing. I've just got two accessories. One, unfortunately, I got the wrong size. I've had my eye on this belt for a long time. It's a called, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Isabelle Morant, it's a designer and it's kind of like that wrap knot belt that I'm sure you guys will have seen. I got it in a size small because when I measured, like my waist was the right size for a size small, but by the time that you do it up, it's not quite right. Let me show you. So you can just see there, it fits around, but I think I want it to just feel more oversized. I want more leather in the strap, so. I'm gonna be changing this one. I don't even know whether I'll go for a size large because I feel like the size small really didn't have enough hair. It's quite cool, you literally wrap it around like that and it just slides on. You can have it kind of as tight as you like. Then last but not least, these beauties. They're just the perfect, perfect, perfect color. I love this color. It's not too brown, it's not too cream. It's gonna be okay if you get them a little bit dirty. Obviously I'm gonna be really protecting them, but it's quite practical at the same time. Uh, the boots from Fairfax and Favour are just made, the quality, how they're made is really, really beautiful. They've got this lovely stretch at the back, but I love how it's hidden. 
love their tassels to the side. Did you see the bright orange in the middle there? The soft leather, you can just kind of like tell how soft it is. But at the same time, it's a structured boot that fits really beautifully. And just by hearing the zip, I mean, you, I feel like you guys, you already know that I'm weird. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm saying that. Doesn't that just sound like the best quality zip? I mean, it is. Anyway, okay. Now I'm even weirder. But yeah, really, really beautiful boots. Hopefully you'll have seen me wearing them whilst I tried on some of these items. I'm gonna stop hugging them now, even weirder. But anyway, that is what I've been buying new at the moment. If you see me in any of my videos wearing things, no doubt if it is still in stock, it was on this rail here. I will link everything below as well as the codes and Black Friday discounts. And now I'm gonna head down, find Ollie see how much clearing he's been able to do and filling up the skip. Our front garden has been like, before we had a house, I used to like walk past houses or drive past houses and be like, I would never let my front garden get like that. Thinking I'd be really house proud. I'm that house. We've been that house for like three years. Constantly have skips and dust and cardboard. Yeah, it's a real pretty sight. Look a bit like an egghead, but that's fine. It's much later on in the day. Um, I'll show you the skip part filled, but it's about three o'clock and we're eating early tonight and traffic's not good to get to my parents. So we're gonna do Ikea. And where else will we be going? Somewhere else. Gosh, my memory. Tomorrow, so I'll pick you up then. Um, Cause we're also going to the Christmas market tonight. Ooh, that reminds me, I need to get some hand warmers. Um, yeah, so I don't think we're gonna have time, but that's fine. Anyway, don't really know why I'm telling you anyway, because I'm just taking you along to it all anyway. <laughs> One for the girls. These are magic at keeping you warm if you know you're gonna be outside. I got these earrings for trying on bridal dresses because I wanted something with a little bit of them. They look really nice, festive period anyway. And I'm basically wearing this tonight, but with a dress underneath. We're only packing this for both of us. Is that the coat? Is that your only coat option for tonight? Yeah, do you think I need a raincoat? Um, we need an umbrella, don't we? Yeah, I mean, I can grab an umbrella out of my work bag. Mm. Is that enough? Mm. <laughs> I'll take my raincoat too. We made it to Ikea. We actually went into town this morning, but it is cold. Winter is well and truly here. A little bit dressed up for Ikea, but we're just going to see Christmas. We've got the candles. I don't think they're gonna go in the places that I wanted. I need them pretty skinny, which is this size, but they only do that height. And then these are great for the freezer meals that we do. And now we're just looking for the hinges that I under-ordered last time. hang around in Ikea. We were literally in and out. It was a little bit busy and Ollie doesn't feel so well to get today. We think he's coming down with a little bit of a cold. So he didn't want to hang around, which is fair enough. So we're home now. We've just had a little bit of pizza. Now we're getting out in the garden. The garden is mainly why we ordered our second skip. We've got the bricks going in from the main bedroom builders who are completing that this week. Scary. Uh, but the garden, the garden's looked a little bit untidy, well, forever, since we bought the house. Uh, it's definitely not going to look any better by the end of this video. But, um, well, it's not our magnolia tree. Our neighbours have a magnolia tree and it obviously drops at this time of the year. So I'm going to sort the leaves and Ollie's going to put anything else that you can find into the skip. When I say anything else you can find... Rebel. Um, and we had a lot of soil left over, so we he put soil in yesterday. Basically, we'll see how we go. It's a lovely day, so that should help. What What is this doing? <laughs> oh, let's go.
I just love when I get carried away and then I tell Ollie my plans and he gets carried away. We were out sorting out the garden, doing all of the leaves, tidying up a little bit, putting a lot of stuff in the skip. We still had a lot of rubble. And I'm just sat in the snug here and obviously we've only just got this room back and because we had a lodger here and it was their like little private space, we actually let them have... That's why he's the work. <laughs> I'll start, turn you around, it's dark I'm afraid. Hopefully you can see without my reflection, but we let them have this area. And so to give them privacy, we put a fence up and we actually had a few trees here so that it was like a bit more private for them. And I was like, oh, Ollie, we've just got to take this fence thing down. It's going to let loads more light in. And on the other side, <laughs> as we'll show you, it's brick. And then we were like, well, we've got to skip. So should we just kanga all of the bricks away tomorrow? So yeah, we are jumping onto another job. Um, but when you have the excitement, you've just got to do it. <gasps> it's off. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's not quite off. It is. <gasps> I mean, oh my god, that that is amazing. Oh my gosh, that is so, so good. It? So good, it really opens it up. So this is the brick bit that we now wanna get down. Then we wanna get rid of this. So probably next spring, summer, we'll use the paving slabs that we had over there, which are here, just to neaten it off a little bit. But it makes such a difference. It looks so good. Oh, he's dancing outside. <laughs> they happy chappy. <laughs> oh, God. Doesn't look different. It looks so good. Like, especially for my little seat that I sit in here, my little day bed. Oh, does it improve the view? Oh, this? really? I, I mean, it is all you'd be seeing, and now I can see sky. It's lovely. Oh, and trees, and I can hear the birds. I'm definitely going to have to take that wall down tomorrow, aren't I? Well, <laughs> back outside, we've decided we are taking down those bricks because our skip isn't full and we really need to fill it with stuff like rubble to make the most of the cost. And I am just sweeping this alleyway because that was the whole point in this, is that we clear this alleyway so that for Christmas we're not looking out on rubbish. I mean, I didn't show you a before because I was embarrassed, um, but it was just basically covered. Hello up there. Can you see if the air defenders are in the buckets? The air defenders are up there, I saw them. Yeah. They're on the table, on like, the, in the corner. Right in the corner. Anyway, sorry. We put this tree here. We need to lean it up, it's leaning this way. We need to lean it a bit up over that way. This spin shed is going inside. We're gonna be painting it. The door's also going in the skit. He found them. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just sweeping it up. Kind of hopefully clearing it the best I can so that it looks a little bit more decent and then this here is what we're getting rid of so it would have been where I think the bins would go here and then this is just like an old stamp type thing our garden's not very neat sorry guys we just don't have the time for it but this is the back snug room and this would open the area up hugely so this fence was what was up here and obviously that would be blocking a lot of light and just generally walking through here from here and also from the dining room you see this bit here so yeah we're hoping to get this into the skip today basically ollie's gonna kangaroo it off whilst i tidy up So we thought we might need the stump grinder for this, but it seems like it's gonna come away. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Wow! It's just completely rotten, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. So many little woodlouse in there. Well, that was an easy job. Super easy, great. 
It looks a bit of a mess right now, but. <laughs> a little bit cleaning up today. We've actually gained quite a lot of space. She's been saying it's the year of mud pits. Made another mud pit. We think we got it down far enough that we can pave over it, but we're gonna get rid of it. this one first. What we're just gonna do is take up some of these. Uh, we had started getting rid of all of these and pop those there. Look how it's opened it up. Isn't that nice? And it's gonna be so nice from this room where I sit here. <laughs> now I can look out on this. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> It's done. We can now walk across this area. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. About this. This is obviously where we took the paving. Um, and we've been wanting to get this up anyway because, you know, these are not great. I mean, the ones we put on aren't great either. But doesn't it open up that space? Now this is our view from the alleyway. I think it makes the alleyway a lot lighter too. Now we're just tidying up. Obviously not perfect. This is all going to be gone when we extend one day. And it's pretty bad anyway. You probably can't tell, but here it's like falls. But yeah. Now to need nap. I may have been able to convince Ollie to go to the garden centre. <laughs> just to pick up a few plants. And actually, we were really lucky because there was this like little bit scraggly laurel that was half price. And I was like, yes. You go beautifully out here and this one which i picked up because sorry that's our front door perfect for christmas time i'll be cutting these off for wreaths in the future it's probably a bit too small now so that we can put it out here Well, it needs a paint, but it's definitely looking greener and a little bit more normal. And I'm gonna put fairy lights in this one and this one. But now, after that fun and games, we've gotta spend our evening sorting this out. Yay, we won't bore you guys with that. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.